Hi traders, it's Roberto and this tutorial we're going to focus on specific entries, scalping entries and staying in no more than 15 or 30 minutes um, mainly because we're going to be talking and learning about binary options and for the next few weeks I want to just send you a lot of videos on when you can take a trade and this is certainly one of them, this is the swap that occurs at 5 p.m. Eastern every day and on Wednesday you get paid three times as much so if you're not familiar with swap that it's just basically holding positions if you if you are let's say short on pound Australian dollar you get paid for holding that position whether you make money or not in the trade so I've chosen six pairs that you get paid on and let's start out with I stayed in this trade because it, some of these have actually retraced a bit but I wanted to stay in normally I get out at 5 p.m. The trade enter anywhere from 3 p.m. 4.30 p.m. and exit at 5 p.m. or 10 minutes after 5 uh, so you can collect that interest so the strategy is very simple I'm using a 26.6 and a 10 moving average line to make it easier simpler if you're not comfortable if you're not sure if you should take a trade then these moving average lines will help you and they'll guide you take that trade so anywhere from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. Um, start looking for an entry the strategy using the moving average line is simply wait for this yellow line wait for price to close below the yellow line and there's angle and separation on these three moving average line as they go down the actual trigger if the moving average lines are six and the ten or below is when it goes above the 26 is yellow line because that would be your trigger so that's this ha occurred around 4:30 p.m. and then you would exit the trade about 10 5 10 when you get paid on the interest okay um, so let's look at the account let's see how it see we have I think I exited on one pair but we have um, a swap here's a pound Aussie this is a, a micro uh, account and I only took a point one lot if this was a full-size lot you get paid six dollars and ninety cents here's fifty two cents you're getting paid an Aussie dollar uh, forty two cents New Zealand yen euro New Zealand sixty nine cents and New Zealand dollar eighteen cents and the other one that I forgot to um, put up was the euro dollar that's the one I think that I exited and here um, there it is and then the other one was the USD Swiss that was going in the opposite direction. Its correlation is is opposite, or it ha actually has an opposite correlation with USD Swiss. So again, find those pairs that you get paid on. Remember, if you are going in the, if you are buying pound Aussie, you're going to be paying interest on that pair. So you want to be that there's that window of opportunity between 4.30 no matter what the overall direction of the market is between 4.30 and 5 it will it will reverse and go the other way here notice at New Zealand yen it was completely flat and then at 4.30 what did it do it just turned around because there's a lot of buyers a lot of interest no pun intended <laughs> pying the New Zealand yen to collect that swap okay so how does this tie in with binary, binary options? Well, if you can predict the market, you certainly will do quite well with binaries. And because with binaries, it's just a win, um, a directional bias. It's, it's where you decide, you make a decision whether the market's going to go up or down within a period of time. So if you think the market's going to go up from 4.30 or 5, then you uh, place a call and if we would have placed a call on I don't have an account up and I will next video that we have I'll have a um, binary option account and we'll show the trades that were taken and show the difference between the amount of money you could have made on binary options as opposed to uh, Forex where at Forex on this account I'm only up twenty three dollars on many accounts on binary options I would have taken um, fifty dollar call or put on each one of these that would have yielded me forty dollars or actually I'm sorry thirty dollars so it's one two three four so thirty dollars times one times six 
that's $180 for half an hour of work okay so again remember every day this happening especially on Wednesday because you get paid three times more on Wednesdays on these swaps um, make sure that you're at your computer around between 3 and 4 30 and wait for that for the market to take a direction get in and exit around 5 10 p.m. on each trade now this is just trading Forex and we're going to I'm going to be sending more videos on certain trade setups there's a trade that occurs every day at 6 30 a.m. Eastern specifically with yen crosses um, if they go in one direction around 6 to 6 30 a.m. Eastern they usually tend to retrace so um, if you have any questions please email me and have a good week trading guys talk to you soon